Now, Singapore resident Soon Lu was lauded a pioneer and leader by Harvard Business School when he was 26. And since then, he has notched up a list of successes. Well, just last month, he was named one of 10 outstanding young persons of the world, joining the ranks of Bill Clinton, Jackie Chan and John F. Kennedy. Well, Soon Lu got the award largely because of his work in mentoring young entrepreneurs. And he joins us in studio today to tell us uh, more about his work. Good morning, Soon. Good morning, Soon. To you, Soon. Good morning. You? I'm good. So, you are now one of the top... 10 young, young outstanding Select. persons. So, I mean, it's like, <laughs> and not just of the country, yeah, of the yeah, world. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Th that's a problem, right? It's like, you know, yeah, yeah. pressure is on. Yeah. Well, tell us yeah. a bit about the work that you do. I, I mean, the work that you've been doing with mentoring young uh, mm -hmm. entrepreneurs. Yeah, I, I do quite a few things. Uh, so, um, mentoring young entrepreneurs, they come to me, um, they have an idea. And the thing about young people is that, you know, it's, it's so dreamy. However, they can't, you know, put it down and make it work. Mm -hmm. And the problem with that is, after a while, as all human beings does, right? If you keep trying for it for mm -hmm. a while, and if you don't succeed, you give up. So right. I, I see my role as you know, nurturing those dreams such that they have a shot at making it come true. Mm -hmm. yeah, and I teach at the, uh, the three universities right. to make sure okay. that get uh -huh. passed on. Yes. So it all comes from your own experience, mm -hmm. doesn't it? I mean, what you went through. Maybe you can give us a background of you know, um, your first brush with success, maybe. I mean, your road uh, on this path. Sure. Uh, I think the most memorable one was when I was 26. Uh, so two of my business school classmates of mine, and, and we're like, you know, we have to start a company. So, but we're not sure. So where should we start? So a prof, after a few prof rejectors, right? We decide to go to Silicon Valley. Uh -huh. And we have like three months worth of sitting in our, in our pocket. And we're like, you know, well, let's, let's right. give it a shot. Right. So we, uh, long story very short. So we put our saving uh, and rent an apartment in San Francisco. And we work and sleep out of that apartment. And as we are running out of money, we raise our first million dollar. Uh, but a million dollars in Silicon Valley is not a lot. You buy a few surfer and you run out of money very uh -huh. fast, right? Uh, so we move on, and uh, in the two and a half year, we raised $38 million. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so I mean, you basically had a business idea and you went out and gave it a try. Uh, mm. But you were fortunate because uh, you, you succeeded in that mm. sense, uh, whereas many others may fail many times over before they get mm. that. So is that why you, you figured later on that you wanted to give back to do a bit more besides just running a business? Yeah, I, I figured it out. When, when I was young, um, when I was 12 years old, um, my good friend died in front of me. Mm -hmm. uh, we are having a, a panic at a school, uh, school trip. Mm -hmm. um, next thing I know, um, you know, the body was floating up, and me and two good friends go, went over and yank him up. Mm -hmm. When we flip him over, his face is just purple. Mm -hmm. And I realized that time, you know, his life is over. Mm -hmm. And I have the chance to pursue my dreams. So mm -hmm. one of the things that, you know, as I go through this journey, I realized my life is not just my life. You know, who, who cares if, if I make you know, a, a, right. you know, a few million bucks? No, it, it, that's not the point. The point is, can people around us have their dreams come true and, and live a great life? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So, so therefore, now you're reaching out to all the young ones out there to, to inspire them and, and hopefully, you know, they can learn from you as well. As much as I can. <laughs> I, I still have a long right, journey right, to go. Right. Right. So what exactly, how do you inspire them? What exactly is it that you want to tell them? Your life? Message? Okay, that, that's, that's, that's a good one, right? Life is shorter. I mean, we can be here today, you know, watching TV, uh -huh. we're right. in the studio, but you never know when life is just going to turn out. Right. So the question is, as we're having this very short life of ours, you now what is it that is truly matters to us? We want to persuade, whether that be starting a business or doing something that we know, you know we ought to do, and we jump into it. Because mm -hmm. most people don't. Okay. Mm -hmm. so, so are you hoping to inspire these young people to do more for others, or are you trying to help them get a business going? Both. Um, but you can't do more for others until you have your thing settled. Right. right. So uh, one of the first things you know, for people who want to start a business, you know, start the business, do it happily, uh, and then maybe you can help inspire others. So it's, it's both a uh, different side of the coin. Mm -hmm. okay. So if you want to succeed uh, in, in this path, what do you think is the most important quality, or value, or attribute that you should have? I th yeah, I think I'll be thinking about that. Um, you know, Winston Churchill once said, never. Never, never give up. Mm. I think that's that. You know, Persistence. You heard, persistent. Yeah. You heard okay. my story, you know, that's great. But what I did not say is all the failure that I encounter. Right. You know, right, we didn't care about that. Yeah, that. Yeah. yeah, but you should never give up. I mean, but sometimes maybe you are barking up the wrong tree. Maybe it's time to yeah. switch direction because the thing you've tried 10 times doesn't work. There's a reason why it doesn't work. Yes, and, and, but, but that's, that's where, this, I mean, it's a very cliche thing, but listening to your heart matters. And mm -hmm. you know. Right. Now, you know whether it's just you're barking on the wrong tree or is it just that you know you give up? You know, I, I, I'm not Einstein, but uh, 
Edison didn't yeah. invent light bulb mm -hmm. until he succeeds. I mean, tried out and failed so many times. Mm -hmm. So you think that's a, a key to success? Do you think that is also one very important uh, um, attribute that young people today lack? I don't. Th Do you think they give up easily? I don't. You know, the, the problem with young people now because I, I saw so many. You know, when I teach at university, yes. right? They forgot what they're capable of. They mm. forgot. They, they don't believe enough in themselves. They always think maybe when I grew up, mm. I can be somebody. But they, they forgot the fact that you know, who they are today is shaped by who they are today, not That's later right. on. Yes. Mm -hmm. so, so start now, I yeah, guess. Start now. Yeah, uh, maybe they're not risk takers. Maybe it's because uh, society around us is saying, your parents are saying, are you sure you want to do that? Why not just go get a good job? Yeah, you know? yeah, and yeah. yeah. yeah the, the, the consistent thing we hear from students is when they tell their parents that, you know, Yo, mom, dad, you know, I like to start a business. And then mom and dad say, get a real job. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, but, but that's where, where, where it's inside them. Eh? And, and, and you know, how much do they really believe in their dream despite right. of the environment? And one, one, one interesting yeah. story is this, right? Consistently, the, person, the people that do the best in entrepreneur class that I've seen are freshmen. Mm. Because they, they do not, they have no, no idea what's real, what's not real. Uh -huh. So they came in the class, first class, right? Most likely the right. first class in universe ever, right? And I throw them. Okay. An entrepreneur challenge, right? And they just jump at it. Re the, the, the max I've seen is someone, a team raised $100,000 in three months. Uh -huh. mm. And some of them just went overseas and do their business. Maybe okay. because they, have to they lose. think, yeah, exactly, they have nothing to lose. I'm so young, you know, I do not have the fear now. So yes. do you think, in a sense, mm. that um, young people should have a certain, uh, uh, you know, risk attitude towards, you know, what they're doing? I mean, you know, take risks, you know, do yes. not be scared of that. No, I think that's. Definitely. I, I think it's not just young people, I think. I think it just applies to all of us. But there's always downside, right? We yeah, think yeah. that we're comfortable in, but the question is, you know, is it, it's just up to us to just jump in. And it's not okay. as scary usually as we, yep. we thought. Right? Let, let, let me quickly ask yeah. you, have you ever had to tell someone and say, okay, no, you should really go get a real job. <laughs> Stop your yes, business, we, I you know? did, Yes, I did. Um, because I, we, we, we examine the, the, the skill, right? And there's, uh -huh. there's no skill there. So yeah. you get a real job, you know, learn something first. But don't, don't give up on that dream. Okay. Uh -huh. Let's talk about your award now because now you feel, I mean, you were telling us earlier how you feel this burden yeah. on your shoulders because yeah. there are expectations. Uh, what are you hoping to do with this award? How, how is it changing uh, your path moving forward? I think uh, a few things. You know, I, I, I can <laughs> no longer go into a movie theater and watch a movie and thinking, Okay, let me just enjoy. You know, part of me, the, that's a voice saying, you know, what have you done? Mm -hmm. Because when I was young, I, watched, um, I was reading magazine and I see Jackie Chan won this award. I'm mm -hmm. like, wow, it'd be nice one day if I can do that. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. but, but now that it's settling in, it's not as nice and glamorous as, as mm -hmm. it seems, right? It's just like, what am I doing? So one of the things that, that I'm um, uh, planning to do is to launch a series of talk uh, called Dreams Without Borders. Mm -hmm. So go around in the different nations around the regions, uh, mm -hmm. hopefully further, right. and to talk to different youth you know, right. and, and ask them the, the real question, which is what's your dreams? Yeah. Whether that be entrepreneur or not, and then th um, encourage them, bring a team together, encourage them to make sure that that yeah. come true. Yeah. I think don't forget to dream, dream big. Uh, yeah. th that's a message. Mm -hmm. And, and I, c I can feel mm. for you because the award is not just a recognition of what you've done, but mm. it's sort of an encouragement for him to go further. So Well, I'll put it this <laughs> way. You can't do that's nothing now. Uh, yeah. There are expectations. There's yeah. the reason why they yeah. gave you the award. So. Yeah. yeah, okay. Well, okay. thanks so much. Thank, Thank you. It's great talking to you. Uh, entrepreneur and mentor Sun Lu there. He's one of the 10 outstanding young persons of the world for 2013. And the award is given out each year by Junior Chamber International, a global non-profit organization of individuals age 18 to 40 who are committed to creating positive change in their communities.